I'm going to show you guys how to do the simplification with two different images to create the Andy Warhol style pop art images. And I'm going to use this dog photo for one technique and then this photo of Beyonce for another technique. First we'll do the threshold technique with the dog and what you want to do is duplicate your layer and you drag it down here. You can also right click duplicate, okay? And you're going to come up to image adjustments threshold and using the threshold tool you're going to slide it and get three variations of the threshold in order to colorize those layer them on top of each other and create your image so the first one I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it almost solid hit OK then you duplicate your photograph again image adjustment threshold and this one I'm going to leave about right here so I can still have a lot of detail and click OK and then I'm going to do that one more time image adjustments threshold and this one I'm going to slide over so it's just some fine little details. And you can play around with this and see how you like it and how it comes out and change it however you'd like. So then I'm going to turn off my top two layers, go back to this one that's almost solid. I'm also going to turn off this layer that just has the photograph. And using the magic wand, I'm going to select the white background, go up to select, similar, so that all pieces of the white background are selected, even the ones that are not connected to what I clicked on with the wand, and I'm just gonna delete that. So now I have a layer with this. I'm going to select the black areas, and go up to select similar, make sure the whole black area is selected, and then I'm just gonna come over here and pick a color, go edit, fill, foreground color, make sure that's foreground color selected and that will make sure it will select the color that you have selected on the top. Click OK and there you go. Now I'm going to turn on this layer, select the white again, select similar, delete that and look I already have the beginnings of this um, simplified dog. So select the black again, select similar. It has the whole thing selected on this layer. Look over here. And then I pick a new color. Edit fill. And see, this is why I tell you to work on different layers. I don't think there's enough contrast between these two colors. So if I hit command and click on that layer, it will select everything for me again and I can just pick a new color and edit fill again and it changes it up. <clears throat> so last one, delete the white and I didn't hit select similar and see it left that white in the eye so I need to go undo, go back to this step, select similar, make sure I grab everything, delete that white. And let's see, these two layers aren't quite different enough on the threshold, so I don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to knock this layer out, delete it, and then I'm going to make a new layer and use my third color as the background color. I can take the paint bucket and just fill that right in. And again, looking at this layer, I don't think there's enough contrast between the colors. So let's make that even darker, edit, fill, foreground, okay, and there we go. We've got a three color version of this dog. And then remember, if this was my favorite image and I chose to make four different versions of it, all you do is you come here and you select hue saturation, and then you slide this and you can stop wherever you like it. I think that one looks pretty cool. Let's get four really different ones. So 
I can stop here, and then I just go to File, Save As, and I can call it Dog1. Make sure it's JPEG. And then come back over here to that same layer and I can slide it. File, Save As. I can name it Dog2. And then slide it again. Maybe I want to go really different. I like the yellow. Stop there. File, save as, dog three. And then I'm gonna turn off that hue saturation and file, save as, <clears throat> dog four with the original image that I colored in. So now I have four different versions of JPEG saved for this dog using the threshold technique. Now, let's go over here to Beyonce, and we'll do the posterization technique. So, first thing you wanna do, if you're not sure if your image has enough contrast, this looks like there's a little bit similar tones happening right here, so I'm just gonna increase the levels and bump up those shadows and dark areas, and then bump up the white areas. So there's just a little more contrast within her face. And if you do that, then you wanna go ahead and flatten that and bring the layers together. Let me go back. So I had the levels. Go down here to layer options and you turn on the levels. Slide these until you're happy with the contrast. And then over here, flatten. Now to use posterization, you have to make sure your image is grayscale. So you go up to image mode, grayscale. And just hit discard color information. And from there, you can go to Image, Adjustments, Posterize. And you can just change that to three. That's the number of colors you have for this assignment. And it works pretty well right off the bat, giving you a three color version of Beyonce. Hit OK. And then remember, you're gonna color this in. So in order to do that, you have to go mode back to RGB. If you don't do that, once you pick your colors, you see over here, if I'm picking a color, it won't change over here. So that's how you know if you forgot to change it from grayscale. You, your colors will not show up. So back to RGB, and then you use your magic wand again, and you select a color. I'm going to start with the white area. Go to select, similar. So I have everything on this image that's white selected right now. I'm gonna create a new layer. And then on that new layer, I'm gonna to go to Edit, Fill, Foreground Color, and everything that was white, I've now changed to yellow, and it's on its own layer. I'm gonna create a new layer. And using the Magic Wand tool again, I'm gonna select all that gray mid-tone. And be sure See, if I try to select on this blank layer, I'm not selecting the gray. If that's a problem for you, make sure you're on your background layer. And there you go, now I have the gray selected. Select similar, grabbing all the gray in that image. Then I jump over here to my layer two. I pick a new color. And let's see, I'm gonna pick a mid-tone color to kind of complement that gray. Edit, fill foreground color, and there you go. In order to deselect, when you have something selected, hit Command D and those marching ants around it will go away. <clears throat> so let's see, last layer, I'm gonna change the black to a color. I select from down here, click on the black area, select similar, Click a new layer, move it onto top because I want that sitting on top of those. Pick a new color and go edit, fill, foreground color. And there you go, a three color version of Beyonce in that style. Again, now I'm gonna go to hue saturation and I'm gonna do these sliders till I like where it looks. I like that one, I'm gonna go file, save as.
and slide it again. I like that one. File, save as, JPEG. And then turn off hue saturation. I'm going to save the first one I created as a JPEG as well. Name that one four. So I've done two out of the three. You guys are going to be doing three of these. And then once you've gotten to this point, you're going to go into InDesign, create a new document that's eight and a half by 11. And then you can drop in all of your images And see how cool those look once they're together? You've got that Andy Warhol style pop art that you've made. Really simple, it's pretty easy to create this look and people will be really impressed. So there's the Beyonce version. And here's the dog version. And that's it. So remember, magic wand, make new layers in case you want to make changes. And then you can just go command, click, and select that whole layer if you want to change that color. Use hue saturation to change your colors. On the threshold technique, you'll want to delete the white background using the magic wand again. And use levels. If your photo isn't working well with this technique, you probably need to use levels in order to get more contrast on your image. And then remember, you just choose your favorite one and you make the four image pop art, which with whatever one you choose, but then also make sure that you turn in all three with the original image and then your simplified image. And that's all you gotta do, real simple.